Welcome to Excel in a minute. The XLOOKUP function is probably the most advanced lookup function in Excel. However, some users are also using the index and X match combination to perform a lookup just like what the XLOOKUP can do. But how do they differ from each other? In this video, we will show you the differences between the XLOOKUP and the index X match combination. About the functions. First, let's talk about the XLOOKUP. This function searches for a value from a lookup array, then returns a corresponding value from a return array. Meanwhile, the index X match formula is made up of two functions. The index returns a value from a list or array of data, based on location indicated by an integer. And the X match function searches for a value from a lookup array then returns an integer that corresponds to the position of the matched value. Syntax and formula The X lookup runs on six arguments where the first three are required and the others are optional. For the index X match, the two functions work as a lookup function when used together. The index function runs on four arguments where the first two are required and the other two are optional. While the xmatch function also runs on four arguments, where the first two are required and the others are optional. Now, since the second argument of index requires a position or an integer value, this is where the xmatch function enters. An xmatch formula is used as the second argument of the index formula to perform a lookup. Basic usage To perform a simple lookup, you may use the xlookup syntax directly. It is easy to use once your argument values are already set. But if you want to try using the index and x match functions, it is also easy to create a formula once you learn how to use the two functions individually. Two dimensional lookup Performing a two-dimensional lookup is an advanced feature that XLOOKUP can do on its own. It uses the nesting method where another XLOOKUP formula is used as the return array argument of an XLOOKUP formula. Meanwhile, to perform a two-dimensional lookup using the index and XMATCH, it requires two XMATCH formulas inside an index formula. These XMATCH formulas are used as the row and column index number arguments of index. And that's it. You can now identify which among the X lookup and index X match should you use on your data. Check out our channel to learn more about these functions. Thank you for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel in a minute. You may also check out the link below to download the presentation. We hope to see you in the next lesson.